Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer. Today we are uh, introducing our um, M-Tower iGamer um, based on the newest Intel 980X Core i7 CPU, uh, 6 cores, 12 megabyte of cache based on the 32 nano nanometer technology. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's take a look how we, uh, we did it outside first. We, the case of choice is the Cooler Master um, HAF922. It's a mid-sized tower case. Um, it's got uh, on the top uh, two USBs, um, an eSATA interface, and uh, two audio in and out. Um, the major strength of this case, uh, high air force uh, is the acronym here, has a, a grill ventilation from the unused base, and then uh, a, a, a big 20 centimeter fan uh, supported by a grid in the front. From the side, we also have um, extra gridding and uh, there is a fan on the top that we can't see, but it's another 20 centimeter fan on top. We'll look at it a little later. Monitor of choice is a newest Samsung 26.5, uh, uh, very high dynamic contrast ratio of uh, 70,000 to one, great picture. Uh, gaming uh, mouse and keyboard from Logitech, the G11 keyboard has illuminated keys, so you can play um, with a low, low, uh, low light in the ambi ambient. And the mouse is the G5 as a modifiable ballast to um, enhance the dynamic of, of your gaming style. Let's uh, open the case and uh, see how, how we, we did it inside. Okay, the case is open now, so we can take a look inside and see what, how we configure the system. Um, at the top, uh, you guys can see this uh, factory um, standard Intel. Uh, it sync. Uh, we usually uh, prefer the Cooler Master um, V8 series, but this um, this uh, it sync is um, but as a great thermal conveyance, and as a new feature is a switch that allow to um, modulate the, the fan speed from power mode and quiet mode. Uh, so it will basically keep the noise down if you don't need to overclock if you're in a, a well ventilated um, environment or you uh, you can set it at uh, power mode. It will be a little more noisy, but you can overclock a little higher. Um, up on top, we see the 20 centimeter fan we discussed before. Allows uh, a lot of the heat to go out directly up on top. And here on the side, there's a memory cooler from uh, um, Corsair, and uh, is uh, keeping the, the RAM underneath cool. For RAM, we use a 12 gigabyte of um, Patriot, the new G series that has an enhanced uh, column address select uh, uh, access time for better performance. Um, on the back here, the, the 12 centimeter fan also keep the, the whole environment here cool. As you already noticed, the, the EVGA motherboard with the glowing logo there is the E760 classified. We like this board being one of the most flexible for overclocking. You can fine tune and overclock uh, voltage for uh, the CPU, the RAM, and the speed on the bus, uh, and so forth. Uh, video card is the Radeon HD5970. is an ATI new, uh, latest and greatest. has two gigabytes of DDR5 RAM and two GPUs. The GPUs are one here and one here. So basically, per se, can be configured already as a two-way crossfire. Um, we could install a second video card for a four-way crossfire. The motherboard is slated to support uh, triple SLI and so forth. Of course, we, we don't recommend that at least not with this power supply. This power supply is an 1100 watt from Corsair. Uh, it's pretty adequate for this configuration as it is. Uh, the case has ample um, base, uh, exposed, uh, six exposed base, and uh, um, six also um, internal. We, we installed on this uh, unit uh, two Velociraptor uh, 300 uh, gigabyte each for a net of 600 gig in RAID uh, zero configuration. Those drives uh, have a 10,000 RPM SATA 2, so high performance at a moderate cost. Um, taking a look at uh, the CPU-Z here, um, you guys can see we mildly overclock this unit at 3.58 gigahertz. Um, the unit is rated at 3.3 gigahertz. Uh, overclocking at 3.5 is very conservative, um, but we guarantee that as a standard uh, workload for all six core actives. Um, if you guys play on a single-threaded application, 
a single core application, you can overclock it uh, much higher, uh, you know, up to 4, 4.3 gig is probably achievable. Um, you know, we have to guarantee um, our unit uh, for professional use as well. So, and um, on the CPU-Z panel, you can uh, note the, the six cores are there and the 12 threads. So that will give you a performance boost, especially for, uh, you know, rendering applications like uh, Photoshop or um, 3D Max and so forth. Um, I think this is uh, all for this uh, presentation. You, can, you guys can take a look at our website, excitecomputer.com, and see more and eventually order one of those. Thank you very much.